Sunday. This is Kelly with ifyouhaveanegg.com and today is Sunday, May the 30th. Tomorrow is Memorial Day if you were here in the U.S. and I'm just going to see if I can get online with us here so I can see the comments but hello and happy Sunday everybody. Um, another gorgeous day here in Knoxville. We had the best weather this weekend. I mean it was cool, crisp, but sunny. It was absolutely awesome. Okay, let's see if I can get going here with you guys. Come on, come on, Facebook. Uh, just a reminder, if you're watching this later on YouTube.com, hello, Stacy. So good, Stacy's already commented. Let me see if I can get on here with you, and I'll have to turn myself down. Oh, I am so loud. I am so loud. Okay, hello, Stacy. Hello, Liz. Yeah, Kathy and Cindy are here. So everyone that is already here, hello, hello, everyone who is coming on. Hi. Hello, Heidi. It is good to see you. Um, Louise is here with us. <clears throat> so, hello, Diana. Well, there's quite a few of you going to be here, and it's Memorial Day weekend, so I figured y'all would be at the beach or out swimming or something like that. You know, hello, Sandra from Demons Ferry. Hello, Katie, and happy Sunday. Um, hello, Carol Lou. Oh, oh, Carol says it is cold and rainy in Pittsburgh. It's supposed to be better tomorrow, so sorry. It was beautiful here today. Hello, Mary Ann from Pennsylvania. Yep, hello Marlene from Florida. So it is so good to see everybody. We had we did have gorgeous weather, you know, again here today. Um, hello Ada. So if you are brand new though, please do go ahead and let us know that you're brand new. Hello Carol from Surrey, British Columbia. And Diana is here. But let us know, and hello Connie. Let us know, there's so many of you all. I'm actually shocked. So I wasn't expecting to be saying hello this many times on the Sunday before Memorial Day, on the holiday weekend. Let's see, hello Elaine, hello Jennifer is here, hello Penny. But if you're brand new, please let us know because we all love to welcome you. Hello John from Home Base, um, and Jean is here. So every, if you're brand new, just say hi because everyone loves to welcome the new people. Hello Betty Ann and hello Sherry. I'm serious, these ladies love, and John, <clears throat> he's usually our only guy, but we they love to say hello and hello Trish. Yeah, and Trish, I was actually there. So Trish said Trish said she missed me at Gwen's meeting today. I was actually there, but I snuck in without a picture because we were driving. Yeah, and the reception was terrible. And Jean says, happy Sunday, happy Sunday, rainy and cold in New Jersey. Well, that's a shame. And hello, Deborah. Um, but again, if you're new, let us know because we love to welcome you. And hello, Sherry from Perrysburg. And I love um, when you all say where you're from because inevitably there are always always a couple of people that are like oh my gosh i'm from there too or my sister lives there or that's where we go on vacation or you know something anyway it's just super cool when you all can figure out that you know somebody know somebody near because we are all doing this together okay so we are all in this together aloha kathy and hello oh marlene saying hello to john um so speaking of the 230 if you went to the 230 zoom meeting today with gwen so sorry that I didn't get to show my face, but we had to run up to the shop real quick. Hello, Marlene. We had to run up to our shop real quick, and the reception was hideous. I have no idea who would be calling this late at night, so we're just going to let it ring because we are here at Casey Kitchen Center, and nobody should be calling me at 8-something on a Sunday. But anyway, <clears throat> oh, and Katie forgot her homework, but she did, it looks like she did do something, so we're going to let her leave that there type. But, um... Anyway, reception was terrible. We were driving, and hello, Myrna. So I did not um, turn my video on for the 2.30 Zoom meeting. Um, and if you're wondering what we're talking about, Knoxville girls, we do still have a 2.30 um, Zoom meeting um, here in Knoxville, and it's Zoom, so you're not coming here to Knoxville, which means if you have the right kind of membership, and I don't know which kinds those are because I've heard varying things. Hello, Barbara. So I've he heard, <clears throat> heard varying things from different people we're in a franchise location. Uh, some people, and hello Sandy, some people that are in, um, I don't know, other locations, you have to have different kinds of memberships to be able to join the Zoom meetings right now. But if you are able to join Zoom meetings, hello Tag, you can come to the 231 here in Knoxville because we are still doing that. But I did poke my head in, didn't turn my video on again because the reception was horrible. Um, but I did see Gwen, Linda, Sandy with an I, Sandy with a Y, Carolyn, Barbara, Janet, Joe, Kathy, Marlene, Myrna, Roberta, Sherry, Susan, and Trish. So I think that was everybody. I think that was everybody. And hello, Linda from Rock Island, Illinois. Um, but yeah, hello and happy Sunday. This is Sunday, May the 30th. May the 30th. Tomorrow is Memorial Day if you were here in the United States. Tomorrow is actually still Memorial Day. Even if you're not in the United States, it's just Memorial Day for the United States. Okay, so everybody, please celebrate safely. Um, please, uh, yeah, behave yourselves. And if you know someone um, who, if you lost someone, if you've lost some, you know, one in the military, 
please know that we do appreciate you. We, we appreciate you, them, and what your family has done for us. And hello, Sandra from Naperville. Hello, Sandy from Northeastern Kansas. Oh, she just finished her dinner of salmon and broccoli slaw. So that was what I did for my homework this last week. And yes, and Van Ann's exactly right. The year is flying by. Okay, and hello, Rosie. It is very good to see you. So hello, hello, everyone. Again, if you are new, please let us know because we would love to welcome you. Quick comment. We are having a flash sale over on kckitchencenter.com. You can go to if you have an egg.com and go to the shopping section. But with grilling, with all y'all are going through this weekend grilling, we decided that we would give you a special deal for just tonight through tomorrow. And that's it. It is a flash sale on the DAC spices. So those are the salt free MSG um, spices that I use in everything. And I'm um, hello, Loretta. And you have to get that information over on Instagram. So I'm not going to give it to you here because Casey will be posting this on Tuesday and it'll be over. The flash sale will be over by Tuesday. So not going to give you the details here. You will have to go over to Instagram and either go to if you have an egg or to KC Kitchen Center to find out what the details are on the flash sale. Okay, <clears throat> Knoxville girls in person. We are having in-person workshops. More of them are being added. So the first one that is at the first, the first in-person workshop that is going to be at the um, Beaver Creek Cumberland, Beaver Creek Cumberland Presbyterian. I typed Baptist in one of the chats and hello Lori from Michigan. It's Beaver Creek Cumberland Presbyterian. It's not Baptist Presbyterian. Anyway, that is in Powell. Um, that first one, the first in-person one um, is going to be, uh, let's see, that one is going to be on Tuesday morning. So I feel like it's this Tuesday morning. This Tuesday morning, which is June the 1st, will be the first of the in-person workshops again at the Beaver Creek Cumberland Presbyterian Church here in Knoxville. So keep checking Connect so that you can keep up with that. Um, that's for people in Middle and East Tennessee. We are just now getting back at it. Um, I so hope that you all will fill that one up. Please, please, please fill that one up so that we can get the Tuesday evening ones going because that's when Karen and I want to go is to the Tuesday uh, is to the Tuesday evening. Um, also, quick side note, um, if Mindy is here or if any of you all know Mindy, so she she usually tries to come every week and she actually was at the 2.30 Zoom today. I was kind of surprised. She had a surprise trip to the hospital. So a surprise stay in the hospital. This was not expected at all. So if y'all get a chance to tell Mindy, you know, like some like send her some well wishes, you know, uh, say a prayer for her, you know, I don't know, hug her if you know her. Um, yeah, that was a surprise trip. Okay, and, uh, oh, Marion says used to work in Clinton, like Clinton, Tennessee, like near here. That is so awesome. Um, okay, so let's keep talking. If you need to find another wellness group, if you need to find a wellness check-in um, or a connect group or something like that in your area, you can always go to connect. So you will have to have a valid WW membership to go to connect to find that out. Um, this month's theme is just about over. So today is the technically the last day of May for WW. They started a new week this week. They started a new month this week, June. This is the last week for us of last month's um, theme. And last month's theme was get stronger. And so we were focusing on ways for your your brain to get stronger, your muscles to get stronger, um, everything to get stronger. Hello, Sylvia. Sylvia has come in from the ball field, I think. Or is ball over now? Is ball just about over now, um, Sylvia? Um, but uh, so the get stronger, we were focusing on lots of different ways to get stronger, not just your muscles. Um, so this is our last week. This is the last wrap up week on getting stronger. And then we start a new topic, sort of new theme for the month in June. Okay, and girls who have not been here yet, or guys, I still think it's just John. But anyway, girls and guys who have not been with us before, it they uh, Weight Watchers is doing, WW is doing a monthly theme. If you need to catch up, and I don't know what Sandra's doing, but honey, you're coming in and out, in and out, in and out, in and out of the of the live chat. So I don't know if she's having trouble with her internet or what, but I'll have like a hundred notifications that Sandra has come in. Okay. Anyway, maybe she's walking around. Maybe she's just walking around coming in and out. Um, but anyway, you can keep checking that and you can check those for your area, but you do have to have a valid WW membership for that. And uh, you can check out the monthly theme. So if you, yeah, and I thought Sylvia just came from the ball field. I had a feeling that she did. So if you have missed any of the weekly weeklies, you can still go back on your app and you can go down, you can go to the bottom 
um, there's a little uh, there's a little symbol at the bottom of your app that uh, looks like I'm trying to think now what it looks like like a little computer disk or something. You can click on that and you can check on the previous ones. Uh, it's harder on the computer. So um, bye Loretta, hello and bye. So the um, it's harder on the computer to go back and find the old ones because you have to know what extension to put on the end. So you can only pull up the ones that are within that month's theme. It's much easier to pull it up on your app. Still can't print them out very well, so I'm kind of bummed about that. Okay, so first things first, LSE. Hello, Vicki from St. Louis. Who attended? So we've been talking about physical workshops. Who attended a physical workshop last week? So if you sat your bottom in a little chair, give us a thumbs up. Or if you went to a Zoom meeting last week, give us a thumbs up. So down here at the bottom, if you're on a phone, so if you're on a phone or if you're on a tablet, you should have a little thumbs up. Uh oh, okay, I didn't see, oh, I must have missed something about Loretta. I saw her say hi, but let me see. Oh no, Loretta's son and mom are in the hospital? What on earth? Okay, Loretta, keep me posted. Okay, and yeah, and Linda, as usual, had her bottom in a green chair, but yeah, so give me some thumbs ups if you sat your bottom in a chair, didn't have to be green. Um, or if you went to a Zoom meeting last week, let's do some thumbs ups. And if you attended here with us live last week, or if you watched it later on demand, or both, would be awesome. Give me some hearts. So I did all of the above. Ooh, and Trish is spicing it up with green hearts instead of just red hearts. So she's got thumbs ups and green hearts. That's pretty cool. Yeah, oh, Myrna switched it to blue. That's actually pretty, 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 pretty. Yeah, when it comes up on my screen. Rita's doing purple. Those are awesome. So here are your Bravo stickers. Everybody who attended an in-person workshop or a Zoom meeting or with us live or all of the above, those are your Bravo stickers. Bravo to everyone, especially leading up to a holiday weekend. And I'm so impressed that you all are here tonight. So, you know, like this is a holiday weekend here in the United States. So I don't know. I'm really impressed that you all are here. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Okay, last week, was chat number 224 and we were talking about meal planning our way to a stronger body. So I wanna know how many people made the broccoli slaw last week? Cause I did and I ate it like four different days. So how many people made the broccoli slaw? Let me have a show of hands. Cause I know some of y'all are still eating it. And then if you did, who had it with salmon? So it was absolutely fabulous with the salmon. That was so good. I don't know why we don't make that all the time. Um, the salmon is super easy to make in the air fryer, so maybe I need to do that man's salmon. Maybe I need to do a that man's salmon video and recipe because it is so stinking easy to make it in the air fryer. Yep, and Rosie did. Awesome. Okay, so what we were talking about last week, the reason we were talking, the reason I'm talking about broccoli um, slaw or broccoli salad, oh, Betty Ann did, but no salmon. Oh, and Lynn is late. Hello, Lynn. Um, the reason I'm talking about that is because last week we learned that three of the most important nutrients for your body, um, oh my gosh, Tag's store ran out of broccoli? How does that even happen? How does that even happen? And Vicki wants me to do the salmon, salmon recipe. So yeah, we'll have to do that. Um, and hello, Dixie. No, Dixie, thank you for being here on a holiday weekend. Um, but we found out last week that uh, th the three three of the most important things that you can put in your body to make it stronger, um, so some of the most important nutrients for building strength from the inside are protein, calcium, and vitamin D. And so we learned that protein is power, literally. It's literally power. The more I read, yeah, Tegs says they must have got my recipe. Mm, sure. Yeah, we sold your store out of broccoli. Sure we did. Um, but the more I read about protein, I mean, I've always been fascinated with protein, especially because of my mom. Most of her late in life um, medical issues were because of she couldn't consume, she was not consuming enough protein. So I've been a little bit obsessed with protein the last few years. Um, but the more I read about it, the more impressed I am. And if you didn't get a chance to go back to that Healthline article that we posted on www.ifyouhaveanegg.com, it was posted in the notes for last week's chat. I highly recommend that you go back and read that. Um, but then we you know, talked about calcium being great for your bones, but when it's paired with vitamin D, it's kind of a one-two punch, you know, for both of them. Um, and there are additional studies that say uh, that, um, you know, that low levels of vitamin D could be a risk factor for the onset, you know, for the early onset of dementia. So, and y'all know that's near and dear to my heart right now. So currently that is, you know, something that I am interested in. But your homework for last week, so y'all made some delicious looking things. I'm just going to say even, and I think it was Lynn that had the cottage cheese. <sighs> 
So even the cottage cheese look good. I'm not going to try it, but even the cottage, even the cottage cheese look good. So, okay. So your homework for last week was hashtag power up and you all knocked it out of the park. I mean, absolutely knocked it out of the park. So you were supposed to pick one meal and figure out how to include protein, calcium, and vitamin D in that one meal, even if the vitamin D was going to come from the sun. Ooh, and Barbara said she had salmon and black rice with mixed vegetables and broccoli that Friday. That is awesome. That sounds really good. So that was your homework for last week. So let's see how you did. Okay, Tina made some yummy looking fajitas. I mean, they look delicious. So for her protein, it was the fajita chicken. For um, And that was... Uh, I'm sorry, for her protein, it was the fajita chicken. The calcium, okay, I'm sorry. Lynn says, I'll try it again. Your taste buds might have changed. No, Lynn. No, they have not. Sorry, not going to do it. But it did look delicious. Maybe I could figure out something else to put in it. Um, but anyway, so it was fajita chicken for her protein. Her calcium was cheese and sour cream. And then the vitamin D was lots of naturally occurring vitamin D. And while she was camping that weekend. So yeah, that's a great way to get vitamin D. It's an awesome way to get it. So bravo, Tina. Sylvia has been busy going to grandkid ball games. So, and I knew that she was probably going to come squealing in here on, you know, on two wheels from one of them. Um, but it looks like they've been having, you know, a ton of fun. But she's been so busy going to kid um, ball games that she, I'm really proud of her for finding time to power up this week. Um, so she had a lunch of tuna salad, and that was protein, calcium, and vitamin D in, in the ingredients for her tuna salad. Um, then she had that on an enriched sandwich round, which I don't even know if you realize that or not, but that had vitamin D in it because it was enriched. And then she had a banana, so she added potassium for good measure. So she just, had, she just went ahead and rounded that out. Um, so good job, Sylvia. And then Carol Lou says, yes! So everything she had... Um, this week for the meal that she chose it was all a yes protein yes she had that man she'd made that man's turkey a hard-boiled egg and light cheese so that was all a yes then calcium she had a hard-boiled egg light cheese and veggies vitamin d the hard-boiled egg and the light cheese and boom it was a huge lunch and it was only one smart point on purple so if you didn't see that you need to go back to if you have an egg uh, if you have an egg facebook group and find that because it was a huge lunch and it was one smart point on purple um and let's see myrna said she had myrna made pumpkin spice muffins that had all three in them oh myrna you're gonna have to post that recipe everyone if you have an egg but good job everybody bravo here are your bravo stickers for doing your homework um if you want real bravo stickers you can go to if you have an egg.com and go to um I don't never, I'm gonna have to write this down sometime. I think it's shopping and go to downloads and um, a lot of them are free. Um, but bravo everybody on your homework. So good, 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 good job. I mean, y'all were making me hungry all week, all week long. So I want to make all of those. But this week is chat number 225 and it's called Bye Bye Critical Self Talk. So I know a lot of y'all are like me. A lot of y'all are like me and you're much better at talking yourself down, talking down to yourself than you are um, promoting yourself, you know, but you're really good at talking to other people. So I know, I know, I know a lot of y'all are like that. You're really, really good at talking to other people and telling them how, what a wonderful person they are and, you know, giving them, them all these uplifting messages, but you're not so good at it with yourself. Okay, so getting rid of neg negative or critical self-talk. Um, can let you say hello to a stronger mind and the more practice you get in it the stronger your brain and your attitude will be so y'all know how much i love a positive affirmation written on a note card or an index card or a post-it note you know or something like that and if you add some stickers or fun writing to it i'm a happy girl it makes me a very happy girl okay even better if you write yourself a note that you would that you would write to a friend that's even better that makes me even more happy but you're thinking, does that really work? I mean, you know, is it really work just to write something down? You know, how, how is that going to work? It sure does. So when others say things like, you've got this, or you, wow, you are so dedicated, or look what a beautiful plate you made, the appropriate response is, thank you. You know, we've talked about that in past chats. When somebody gives you a compliment like that, you say, thank you. You don't say, oh, no, I didn't. Oh, it could have been better. Oh, oh, oh. You know, that's negative self-talk. So you, the, the appropriate response is, thank you. Um, 
and then do yourself a favor, write it down right then. Like find something to write it on, write down those same words and then repeat them to yourself. When you need a pick me up, um, you can post it on the refrigerator, you know, can use some cute magnets and put it on the refrigerator. Um, or you can even stick one of them on the scale, like stick one of those notes onto your scale. Um, studies show when you speak, write, and refer to yourself with those same positive affirmations that you can have a positive, you can have an effective and proactive response in times of need. And eventually you will strengthen your mind and say bye-bye to the critical self-talk chatter. So we want to say bye-bye to that chatter. Okay, so what does that mean? What is a, what is a positive affirmation? How can you, you know, how do you write that down? What, what am I even talking about? So if you've not seen one of our previous chats, I'm a big fan of colored markers. Casey and I have these everywhere, like everywhere. Not kidding, everywhere. And I have note cards. I probably own stock in note cards now, accidentally. Um, but I love note cards. I love post-it notes. Um, I love, you know, anything like this. So how many of you like colored markers? Who else likes colored markers? And who else likes index cards? And who's like me and loves stickers? Yeah, so show of hands, who's into all that stuff? Or it looks like a couple of you all are doing thumbs ups and hearts, so I think some of you are. Um, but these are the top things that you would buy for and send to a friend, or, oh, Betty Ann does, you would buy and send to a friend, or Diana says, yes, both. Um, but you be, you would get these and send them to a friend or you would give them to kids that you were trying to, you know, promote. So if a child was trying to, yep, Lynn, Betty Ann, yeah, y'all are all in. Sandra's, woo, 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 me, me, me. Um, so if a child, you know, was struggling to do something, you wouldn't say, yeah, you better just hang it up. You're not ever going to get this. You're not ever going to get any better. Open Jean does. Dixie says absolutely both. Um, but you wouldn't tell a child that. No, instead, you would get stickers for them like this that said, cool, nice one, woohoo, yay. So you would put stickers on whatever it was, or you would put a sticker on their shirt or whatever. You know, you wouldn't tell them they better just hang it up. You would keep encouraging them. Um, these were some really neat ones, and I can't remember who sent these to me. It might have been Sandy, but um, somebody sent me these, and, went, and Heidi's got her hand raised. They say, be inspired, express yourself, shine bright, and just be you. And do you know why you need to just be you? because you can't be anybody else. You can only be you. So it's important that you be you. But again, if a friend called you and said, you know, I'm having a really hard time or, you know, this isn't going right. It doesn't matter what it is. It doesn't have to just be, you know, um, weight loss related. But if something wasn't going right, you wouldn't say, or I hope you wouldn't say, wow, you really stink at that. You should probably just quit. You wouldn't do that. You would encourage them to keep going. You would encourage them to keep it up. You might send them some stickers. Um, you know, you would do something else to lift them up. So this is my favorite thing to do. And I wish I could tilt the camera down, but I can't really. But just to literally take just a plain index card or you can take, um, you know, you can do uh, a post-it note, you know, or something else. Make, you know, make some little sign to put on your scale. And Dixie said those are wonderful reminders for all around your house. So she's exactly right. It doesn't have to just be on the refrigerator or the scale. It could be all over the house. So you just literally write something like... Um, you know, I could put this one on, um, I could put this one on the, uh, you know what, I'm going to put this one on my monitor here at work because I still since, okay, so our mask mandate is up here in Knox County and people, Knox Countyans, I love y'all, but you've gone crazy. It's like everybody's getting out of their house now. I know, I know we're not all vaccinated because we're only at like 40 something percent, but it's like all y'all went crazy and you're just coming out in droves. So I'm struggling again with that lunchtime. You know, we had, I had kind of nailed it, um, you know, a couple of months ago, scheduling a lunchtime, sitting down here at the table at Casey Kitchen Center and actually eating some lunch. It has been a huge, huge struggle the last couple of weeks since our mask mandate is up. And that's a weird reason for it to be a struggle. But I'm going to put this one on my desk. So I'm going to say, you... And I'm going to make it in another color. I'm going to put deserve because I love to make. Oh, Lynn has I am amazing on the bedroom uh, on her bedroom mirror. So I'm going to put you deserve So sorry y'all have to watch me make this. 
you deserve I'm going to put to sit down for lunch So I put you deserve to sit down for lunch. Oh, okay, you know your hair is long when you can close it in the pen cap. Um, Vicky says, I thank God each morning for giving me another day mm -hmm, and make it she is worthy. So, okay, so that's, you know, cute on its own to say you deserve to sit down for lunch. But because I want to remind myself of this, and you, you don't have to be able to do, you know, fancy little things. My mom taught me how to do all this. So you don't have to be able to do all the little fancies, but I sure can stick some stickers on here and I can put, you know, shine bright. I can put a, an, a be inspired sticker on here because it's got some of the same colors in it. And then I can do some little fun doodads on there just because I love to do little doodads. But I, you know what, I do deserve to sit down and eat lunch. So that's what I put on there. You deserve to sit down for lunch. So people tell me that all the time. Like Karen tells me that all the time. And she gets so mad at me when I don't take, when I don't get to take a lunch. Um, Casey gets irritated with me when I don't get to take a lunch. Anyone who's around me after the not taking of the lunch, they wish that I had taken lunch. So I'm going to go, I'm going to put that on my desk before Tuesday because that's when I come back to work that I deserve so just something cute like this so this is actually your homework for this week so your home homework for this week is bye bye bad chatter so if I have this at my desk then every time I say well I don't have time for lunch or that nobody will let me have time nobody will let me have lunch nobody they never give me time I never have time me 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 you know poor little you know poor little pitiful me then I can just remind myself hey you know what you deserve to have lunch so let's sit down for 30 minutes, you know, 20 to 30 minutes and just tell people, sorry, I'm at lunch. And it worked really, really well. I just let myself get carried away, you know, in the, that I, in the fact that I didn't deserve to have lunch because all, everybody on the planet is more important than Kelly, okay? And I let myself get sucked into that. No, they're not. I deserve to sit down for lunch. Okay, so that is your homework for this week. And thank you, Lynn, for posting that. So it is hashtag bye bye bad chatter. And I want, so it's B-Y-E, B-Y-E. Hello, Barbara from the Yarberry Campground. Also, it is so good to see you. I'm glad y'all have internet there. Um, but it's Bye Bye Bad Chatter, C-H-A-T-T-E-R. And I want you to write down one or a couple of positive affirmations um, that popped in your head. So whatever popped in your head while we were talking tonight, um, and then type it, snap it, however you want to tag me in it, you know, but tag me at, um, on if you have an egg.com. You can just type it in there. Um, if you go to Instagram, it's if you have an egg. Here on Facebook, it's if you have an egg, or you can tag Kelly Green Milligan. But tag me in it, and do not forget to do your homework, and Casey will make us another super cool badge. So, <clears throat> I want everybody to do their homework this week. You all were so good last week. I mean, you all nailed it last week. And again, you made me very hungry. So, don't forget to do your homework. Uh, we are going to take a quick break. We are right at the, um, I know Barbara says it's so cold in East Tennessee. It really is. I had to borrow a sweatshirt from Casey last night at the campfire. But um, we're going to take a quick break. If you are new at the third, yes, and Sandra, it is time for water. So it is time for some water. So today I have, I don't have water. I wanted something special. So while I was at the store, I got, and somebody's going to have to tell me how to pronounce this. Is it Steez? Like Stevia Teas? Is that, is that what it is? But I got... I think it's Steez, zero calorie iced green tea, and it is peach mango. So I wanted something different. I've consumed all the water I can consume today. So I wanted something different. I've already tested it. It's delicious. But if you are new, and yes, Barbara, it's time for water. If you're new, we stop at the 30 minute um, point. The first 30 minutes of the chat is um, all classroom and then the second 30 minutes is usually something fun it's a recipe or cooking or tonight it's just you know it's some tricksy stuff so um and barbara's gonna drink hot cocoa that's perfectly fine barbara that's got water in it um but i'm gonna go ahead even though we're not cooking anything tonight i'm gonna go ahead and put my apron on because the second half of the chat um since that's the fun part casey breaks that out and she posts that separately on youtube so new people go to youtube.com search if you have an egg and you can watch the entire thing in one full hour 
or if you skip to the one where I'm wearing the apron, it is only 30 minutes long and it's the fun part. So I'm gonna get another drink of this. Everybody get some water. <clears throat> Even though y'all have not been talking nonstop for 30 minutes, it's always a good idea if you go ahead and grab some water. And since we are not cooking, I'm not gonna pull my hair back. I might get sweaty, don't know. Okay. So the second half of tonight's chat, I have named 10 unlikely weight loss tools. So we have, we talked about getting rid of bad chatter in the first half of, t of tonight's chat. So, <clears throat> so this is the second half of chat number 225. Oh, there's someone named Tammy has joined us. So hello, Tammy. Um, but in the first half of tonight's chat, in the first half of chat, first half of chat, 225, say bye-bye, say bye-bye to negative self-talk. Um, we were talking about how to get rid of bad chatter, so how not to talk negatively to ourselves. So one of the things that I really, really, really am trying to work on is getting back to, you know, getting back to basics because I'm telling you, I'm still, I have still been on the struggle bus. Um, you know, just trying to, I don't know, trying to find my groove. And hello, Tammy. Sorry, we greeted you a little bit early, but I'm still trying to find my post-vaccination groove. And, um, you know, and I'm struggling trying to, you know, trying to find that. So I am a more than 20-year WW veteran. So, you know, back when we still called it Weight Watchers. Um, and I was from, so over 20 years ago when I started, we were, we were still part of the have to eat tuna every day. Or not every day, but you had to eat it like three times a week. And I think they still wanted us to eat liver. But anyway, so I was part of that group. And I survived. But COVID seriously nearly did me in. COVID and my mom getting so sick and passing away literally just about did me in. So I'm still trying to find that group. So y'all have to bear with me that I'm talking about basics, you know, and smart swaps and things like that. But I'm talking to me too. Okay. I'm not just talking to y'all. I'm talking to me too. So tonight for our second half, and I honestly didn't think there would be that many of you all here. So I thought, you know, I'm not going to cook for a, the handful of people that are going to show up. And there are so many of y'all here, so we'll cook something really fun next week. Okay, but for tonight, I have 10 things that are unlikely, they're just unlikely weight loss tools. So when you think of weight loss tools, what's the first thing that you think of? I'm going to let y'all chat for just a second while I get another sip of this steez. Is that what it's called? Somebody help me. So what is the first? Oh, thank you, Vicky. I love y'all too. What is the first thing you think of when I say when I say a weight loss tool? What's the first thing? What's the first thing you think of? What's the first weight loss tool that you think of? Scales. Yep. Kathy says scales. Exactly. Heidi says scales. Yep. Uh, Marlene says tracking. So something to use as a tracker. Jean says scale. Sandy says scale. That's funny. That's funny that so many people are picking scale. Oh, and Liz says a food scale. Yeah, Liz is a food scale. Marlene says tracking. Myrna says a food scale. Okay, so we're in takes as a measuring cup. Yeah, those are all great tools. And those are all great tools to use for, and Tammy says measuring cup. So those are all great tools to use for um, for your weight loss journey. But, hello, Alicia. I'm going to I'm gonna talk to you tonight about, um, oh, and Alicia says she lost track of time because it's a beautiful day in Ohio. Um, and, and Barbara says, yes, Kelly, you deserve lunch. Thank you. I think I do. And I'm going to post that on my desk. Um, so 10 things that you may not think of that are very important tools in, you know, in your weight loss journey. So, okay. So there are 10 unlikely tools. Okay. The first one, the first of our unlikely tools is we just talked about this. We literally just talked about it. Oh yeah. And tags, let's see, is it tag that said that? No, Trish, Trish said hands for measuring. Yeah. That's not one of the ones we're going to talk about tonight, but that is also a good one. Okay. So these, these are unlikely. So we just talked about index cards. Okay. Index cards. I think they are invaluable in your weight loss journey. Things like writing good affirmations on them and posting them where you can see them but also keeping track of things and if you all have been around for very long you will remember these but also for keeping track of things like meals that you want to remember um, how to make or like um, certain things at certain restaurants that you want to remember like if you've already if you've already done the work 
um, and come up with, you know, at Cracker Barrel, I get this, this, and this, and it's this many points. Or that I love to make, you know, I love to make this recipe, you know, and I already have the points posted on there. Or, you know, if I want to do, you know, if I need something for three points, zero points, you know, and six points, you know, I can combine these and I can use these index cards. I can use these index cards and I can, you know, I can make any combination of meals and say, I know, Lynn, that's what these are. Look, do y'all remember that? Do y'all remember these? Those are the index cards that we did a little while ago. So I still think this is an invaluable tool. I still think it's an invaluable tool. Let me see if I can find one that one of you all did. Um, so I love these as a tool because you can go, so like, so like Casey did this one. Casey did this one and it was for snack time. It was a baby bell cheese, um, two teaspoons of balsamic vinegar, fresh uh, basil and assorted veggies to hashtag bulk it up. So that, that, you know, I can put this, I can make any combination of these and I can come up with my day. So this is one of my back to basics that I'm gonna go back to. I'm going to pull these back out. Obviously, I just did pull these back out like Wendy's, you know, like a Wendy's chili, you know, so something something that I can fall back on and say, you know what, I'm going to go back and pull all of these out so that I have, you know, so I can make my own assortment of cards because I was very successful when we were doing this. When we were doing the index cards, I was at goal weight, okay? All of our fancy schmancy new things to track with are awesome, but when I made it this simple so that I could just say, um, yes, Tammy. Okay, so Tammy wants to know if she can watch this later. Tammy, later, so when this is done at 9 o'clock, it will automatically post to Facebook, and so you can go back to here, you can come back here to, um, if you have an egg, and watch it on Facebook, or if you want to wait and watch it later on YouTube, it'll be on YouTube.com, search if you have an egg, that'll be posted probably maybe tomorrow, but it, since it's a holiday, maybe not um, for Casey. It'll be posted on YouTube, and then we always post it on if you have an egg.com, our blog. So, yes, you can always watch it later. But I'm just telling y'all, I was at goal weight when I was using car using the cards. So, I love all of our new tools. I love all of the new tracking tools on the, um, you know, the phone and the iPad and everything like that. But I was at goal weight when I used the index cards. So, I'm breaking my index cards back out. Okay, that is an unlikely tool. So, that's probably something that you all had not thought about in a long time. Um, and you can go back. We had those on, um, and we had chats, and back then they didn't have numbers. So the chats were called Index Card Meal Idea Swap. And if you go to YouTube and search that, you will find, or if you go to YouTube and go to my video, so if you go to YouTube, search if you have an egg, <clears throat> and then go to my list of videos. If you um, type in Index Card Meal Idea Swap, that that is one of them. Index Card Swap Time is another one that shows you how to do it. Uh, or one called index card system um and you'll see um you'll see just how far i go i'll go to have something physical tangible um i mean again i love all my electric stuff but i love having something in my hand i love having something in my in my hand um and you can do you know cards like this too or on another chat and i failed to go back and see what number it was what chat number it was but we did one where it said and I have this on my refrigerator at home where it says, you know, I feel so, or I'm so, and there was a blank. And then you said, I feel like blank. So at the time it was about eating your emotions or something like that. And so you would type, put in something like, I'm so mad, I feel like eating a bag of potato chips or I'm so whatever. But it can be, if you do something like that, it can be extremely revealing. So note cards, use them. I'm just gonna say, use them. Okay, my next unlikely tool <clears throat> is an ice cube tray. And I know y'all are thinking, yeah, Kelly, duh, we need ice. I mean, we're working out. You know, you keep telling us to go work out and walk and go to the gym and do all this stuff. We're going to need ice, Kelly, okay? Okay, so you do. Yes, you do. You especially need ice when it's hot. You know, like last week we were, what was it, Barbara, 90-something, I guess, here in East Tennessee. Um, yesterday or last night we were like, 40 something so we had like a 50 degree temperature change or you know or something um so yeah so ice cube trays you're gonna need them for that but did you also know that you can use ice cube trays and take says what ice ice cube ice Ice, I-C-E so Tag does not understand my accent and I'm sure she thinks I'm saying Pardon me, but I'm sure she thinks I'm saying ASS because I get accused of that 
from people who are not around here, but I'm saying ice, like frozen water, frozen water trays, okay? Um, so yes, we do need those. Um, but you can also do things like you can portion out and freeze fat-free ricotta or just ricotta. So things like that. So I know, um, uh, let's see, I think it's Popcorn Karen that does that. And I've done it many, many, many times. When I can find fat-free ricotta, you need to go ahead and grab it because it's not always available. And you can go ahead and portion it out into an ice cube tray, ice cube tray, and make it into like one tablespoon, two tablespoons, however, you know, you could use a bigger one with the bigger squares if you wanted to do two, but then go ahead and freeze them in this and then put them in smaller packages so that you can pop them out and use them later. So it's perfect for that. You can crush or mince um, garlic. Oh yeah, so Lynn is saying exactly what I'm saying. You can crush or mince garlic, you can crush um, or chop up herbs and you can freeze them in that and then you'll have them ready. So like if you needed garlic, if you needed minced or um, uh, crushed garlic for something, instead of dragging out garlic, you know, and crushing it right then, you know, you would always have it. So it'd be frozen. So you could just pop it out. You don't have to leave it in these trays. You can't, again, after they're frozen, you can put them into like little Ziploc bags or some other kind of a container. Um, you can freeze flavored water or sports drinks or something like that, you know, and put it, just freeze them and then put it in with your um, bottle of water for something, you know, for something, um, you know, um, fun, you know, because you have a little fun little additive in there. Hello, Orlando Debbie. Um, but you can use it for, you know, for something fun. Or we have done this a lot when we've had um, people here at Casey Kitchen Center or like for baby showers or bridal showers. Now that we can have them again because Knoxville's opened up our max, mask max. Alyssa calls them max. She calls it a max. So now that our max mandate is up, we can have bridal showers and, you know, things like that. Alyssa's tomato paste. That's a perfect idea. Um, but we chop up fruit and put it in here, um, chop up fruit, some kind of flavored water, fizzy water, something like that, and freeze it. And then um, when you plunk it into either a punch bowl or you um, put it into like an iced, uh, like a glass beverage dispenser, it's super fun. And the flavors are, you know, melt, melting, you know, and it's just, it's pretty floating around. Okay, so I think this is extremely, I think an ice tray is extremely important in your weight loss journey because you can use it for lots of different things to get yourself prepped and ready to go um, and just, you know, to save a little bit of time. Okay, a permanent marker. So what do you all use these for? So a lot of people um, use a permanent marker to write in the back of their kids' clothes before they go to camp. Um, they, uh, you know, to, I don't know, make poster boards for yard sales and, you know, things like that but they're not just for writing in your kids' clothes anymore. Um, you can use a permanent marker to label your groceries. And I know y'all have seen me do this a hundred times, but use them, okay? Get a Sharpie. Well, that's a brand name, but anyway, get a permanent marker. Exactly, Vicki, and write, go ahead and write the points on the foods. That's exactly right. So like this fat-free tuna salad, so this is a fat-free tuna, you know, fit and active fat-free tuna salad that I got at Aldi. And this is in, this is in the cabinet here at Casey Kitchen Center. Well, remember, I deserve to sit down for lunch. Well, if I have to write, figure out the points and sit down and get it ready and, 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 and I'm, I'm not going to end up doing it. So if you go ahead and write the points on there, you know, and even write, you know, what color, what color it is. Um, if you're doing blue, green, or purple, if you go ahead and write the, the points for what you, you know, whichever plan on there, you can be ahead of the game. Um, you can do that on things like this, like these little cake cups. So this one, I'll remind myself that one, one cup is one point, two cups is also one point in this size. Not that I need to be eating two of these but these are smaller cake cups so if you go ahead and write that on there you know i'll just already know or if it's something that the points jump up i'll know not to grab it you know or to think oh gosh you know i don't want to get a second one or things like this like this skinny pop um kettle corn the um sweet vanilla i have not tried this yet but i can already promise you that if i open this bag and if i don't go ahead and point it out if i don't go ahead and um you know separate it into smaller bags this will be become one serving okay 
<clears throat> so something like this, go ahead, get you some smaller Ziploc bags, something like that, and then use your Sharpie marker to write on that Ziploc bag however many points it is. And I think for this per serving, it's like five points, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but go ahead and write that on there because, again, if I don't, if I don't list the points at all on here, if I open this bag, it's going to be empty. But if I go ahead and put it out into the smaller bags and write five smart points on there, I'll eat a bag. I might eat a second bag, but I'm probably not going to open a third bag when I see that five points staring at me again. So, <clears throat> and Dixie says, how do you know how many points there they are? Well, you can scan. So Dixie, if you are a WW, if you have an active WW membership, you can scan the barcode. Um, so I can scan the Skinny Pop barcode. I can scan the Fit and Active, and it should already come up. If it doesn't come up, we actually have we have a chat for that. We have a chat for how to calculate points. So we'll have to go back and figure out what chat number that is. Okay. So that is um. So that's one. So that's the permanent marker. Okay. What is this? So y'all tell me what this is. And Dixie, if somebody can find that chat, we'll, we'll post it. If not, I'll try to get um, Jessica to post it. Uh, when she posts this on ifyouhaveanegg.com. Oh, and Dixie, okay, Dixie's having trouble with the WW app. You know what, Dixie, I'm going to make myself a note. Help Dixie with the app. And Dixie, are you in our closed group? Are you in the closed WW, I mean, in our closed if you have an egg group? If you're not, we need to work on getting you in there. Um, no, it's not a half a cup, Debbie. Um, but we need to work on getting you in there and I will try to find, um, I'll try to find that chat number for the, um, for the, how to use the app because we, we do have, oh, Dixie, can somebody pretty, please, pretty, 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 please message Dixie or post on her comment. If Carol's here, she usually has it pulled up, um, the link to our closed group and Dixie, please answer the three questions. I'll, I'll try to find it anyway and let you in but we need to get you in there so that we can help you okay so this is an ice cream scoop so yes sherry's right betty ann's right so this is an ice cream scoop and carol Lou, thank you so much for posting that so dixie if you can see the comment that carol Lou just posted um and dixie it's okay dixie dixie uh can't use the wwf we'll talk about that separately so let's get you in our group first let's get you in the closed group first and then we will we will figure it out okay we will figure this out so you know it's like no woman left behind okay no ww are left behind anyway so this is an ice cream scoop okay so this is not just for ice cream yes this is for ice cream but it's not just for ice cream so this this is an average ice cream scoop it's a fourth of a cup so i use this for ice cream for a fourth of a cup of ice cream um i also use this for um like if I need to scoop out exactly a fourth of a cup of yogurt, um, I use this for mashed potatoes. So if I want a fourth of a cup or two little two little scoops, you know, two little half cups of, um, yes, yeah, Sylvia, it is two little half scoops or two little fourth of a cup scoops of mashed potatoes so that I have a half of a cup of mashed potatoes. And the reason, okay, and Alicia just said mashed potatoes. The reason I use this for mashed potatoes it's a fourth of a cup. I use this for macaroni and cheese, too. It is a fourth of a cup. But look, it comes with a built-in tato scraper. So if you don't know what a tato scraper is, I just made it up. But it comes in with a built-in tato scraper. So that way, I can keep my dignity. Because if I have measured out a fourth of a cup of mashed potatoes and go like this and put it on my plate, I would be forced to go to either lick it or wipe it, because I've already counted those points, okay? So I want all of the potatoes that are in there. So use that little handy tato scoop and get the rest of your potatoes out, okay? So that's what I use that for. Um, and it's perfect for macaroni and cheese, potatoes, I, and ice cream. It's perfect for that. Okay, so that's another good one. The next one, kind of weird. What is this? This is mouthwash. Okay, so you're probably thinking, Kelly, you can't drink, you can't drink mouthwash, Kelly. So don't, just don't go there, okay? So, mouthwash, toothpaste, mint-flavored, sugar-free gum, something like that. These all fall into the same category. Um, have you ever brushed your teeth and then tried to take a bite of, like, a potato chip or a piece of candy or something like that? Ugh. It's gross. It's absolutely gross. So, you you know, you just wouldn't, you wouldn't do that. So using, 
something like a mouthwash, again, toothpaste, or mint flavored sugar free gum, not not candy flavored. And Lynn's exactly right. It makes you not want to eat after. Not sugary flavored sugar free gum, but it has to be like strong minty. And that's why the mouthwash is so good. Um, you're not going to want to eat. So it's either, so it's going to keep you from sticking something else in your mouth. And if you will use it at your, uh, your appointed, whatever you're designated and that, and this is up to you. Um, but whatever your designated, um, whatever your designated I'm done eating time is. So if it's, you don't have to be doing intermittent, intermittent fasting or something like that. Um, but if you, whatever your designated time of, you know, I really, I need to stop. I need to stop eating mouthwash toothpaste or mint flavored sugar-free gum a it's going to help you build that habit of okay it's my this is my stop so i brush my teeth and do my mouthwash at let's say 7 30 um eight o'clock nine o'clock it doesn't matter what time it is but when you do that it sets you up for okay this is my i'm done i'm done eating time plus it's an icky gross taste so you're probably not gonna probably not gonna keep eating okay so that is the next one the next one Elastic hair bands. So elastic hair bands are great for putting your hair up. So if you're exercising, you need to get your hair up. If you're doing the second half of a live chat and need to get your hair out of your face while you're cooking, they're great for that. But this, the elastic hair bands are good for so much more. So let's pretend like this is the key to your locker at the gym. So you've got, so you're at the gym because we can go now, you know? So you're at the gym, you've got the key to your locker and you're thinking, where on earth am I going to put that? Where am I going to put that key? I'm not going to put it in my shoe because I'm going to end up stepping on it. Um, if I tie it to my shoe, I'm probably going to lose it, you know, whatever. So use an elastic hair thingy and it doesn't just have to be for the gym, but I use these for all kinds of stuff like this. So, sorry, I should have slowed down. Let me show you. So here's the key. You put the elastic hair thingy through it. And then you've got two loops. Stick one of the loops through the other loop. And when you pull it tight, that puppy's not coming loose. I'm just telling you. I, I don't know. I don't know why people don't do this all the time. I use these to hang things. I use them for lots of stuff. So there's your key. So now there's your key to the gym, to you know, to your locker at the gym. And you can slip that over your Fitbit or your Apple Watch or, you know, whatever, or if you want to do it on your, you know, shoelace or whatever. So now there is your key to the locker and you have it with you. Okay. That's one elastic hairband thing. Here is another one. If you have a ginormous purse like I do. So I just got, um, it's called a hobo purse here at Casey Kitchen Center and they are awesome. They're awesome. Um, but in this giant hobo purse, I'm constantly going, what on earth? Where is it? You know, where is everything? Where is everything? Well, y'all know me. I hashtag um, purse check all everything. So I use a hair thingy to keep some snack bars together. Otherwise, I would have four, three, four, however many snack bars I have. They would be everywhere in the bottom of that hobo purse, and I wouldn't know where they are. So I can use this hair band to keep them together. So those are going to stay together in my purse. And for things that, for foods that I am at a high risk of developing the creep and how, who's been watching long enough to know what the creep is? So just tell me real quick, show of hands or some thumbs ups or something. Who's been watching long enough to know what the creep is? So the creep for me happens with things like peanut butter, cereal, milk, um, things where I can, I'll measure it out like a tablespoon of peanut butter and then a tablespoon of peanut butter, and then a tablespoon of peanut butter. And then the next thing I know, when I go back and measure it, it's a tablespoon and a half of peanut butter, but I'm still counting a tablespoon. Yeah, Lynn, Sandra, Tag, yeah, all y'all, Sherry. Okay, so this is something that Gwen taught me. So my fearless leader, Gwen, um, taught us to do this. So I didn't have a jar of peanut butter here at work because I would just eat it if I did. So I keep that for at home where I can control it. But things like this, like this is granola, and this is actually, this is an awesome and amazing granola that we have at Casey Kitchen Center now and it's called Eat My Granola. But this stuff is delicious and it's delicious but I need to make sure that I only get a tablespoon or two tablespoons. I need to make sure and measure it. So you just put the elastic and you can use a rubber band. I can't touch rubber bands because I'm allergic to them. So I use hair thingies for everything or hair elastics. We call them hair thingies. But then take like on this one, I'm only using a tablespoon to two tablespoons of this whenever I use it because it's so fantastic. And I have to measure this 
or I promise you, this is so fresh and so delicious. And we do have it here at Casey Kitchen Center if you're in Knoxville. Um, but it's so fresh and it's so delicious. I would definitely have the creep. I'm going to have to talk fast. So you stick that on there. So now my tablespoon is attached to my granola. So guess how much I'm going to be putting in my cereal or my yogurt or whatever I'm putting it in? A tablespoon or two tablespoons, but I'll be measuring it out. Okay, so hair thingies. I highly recommend them. The next one deodorant and i'm gonna start talking really fast so deodorant so everybody who's going to the gym walking running getting out whatever you know the people around you right now are saying thank you kelly thank you for reminding them to wear deodorant okay i'm not reminding you to wear deodorant you can do that on your own but deodorant if you have not if you have not tried this either um in underneath a sports bra and i'm just gonna let you imagine where i'm putting this underneath a sports bra or if you are bad for chafing in between your legs, if you will use some stick deodorant, um, then this will, this one kind of works fine. Um, the roll-on, not so much because it needs to have some anti-friction, you know, properties. But if you'll use this underneath your sports bra or in areas where you're prone to chafing, like I'm really bad prone to chafing in, you know, in between my legs when it's hot outside. So you put some of that, put some deodorant on there. Guess what? They're slick as butter, you know, while you're walking. And you don't get all those little nasty bumps and it doesn't hurt and everything. So I highly recommend the deodorant for that. Okay, binder clips. So binder clips, and I know, or any kind of a clip, whoop, any kind of a clip. So binder clips, chip clips, you know, anything like that. And I know you're thinking, yeah, Kelly, we're going to keep chips closed or we're going to keep, um, oh, Carol Luce, dermatologist told her to do that. So good. Okay, so good. So I'm doing a thing. Um, so... You know, you're thinking, yeah, we're going to use these to keep, keep bags closed, like the Skinny Pop bag. You know, like, yeah, Kelly, we use clips to keep things like that closed. Okay, what I use them for, and I cannot find the picture, I can't find the chat, I cannot figure out where it is, but I use, and I'll have to find the picture and get this for uh, Jessica, and it doesn't matter what kind, Marlene, as long as it's like stick deodorant, not roll-on. Roll-on or spray-on's okay, but the stick deodorant works better. Um but the um these i do and i have to go back and find that picture but those um um oh the bag things that i that i use all the time oh my gosh i've grip sticks the grip sticks that i use because i'm running us out of time so the grip sticks um when i run those through the bag of things for the freezer because i'm constantly losing things in the freezer or something that i really really wanted ends up way in the back and it ends up freezer burn and then I never find it again. So yes, Betty and the grip stick. So I run the grip stick through the top of the bag and I'll have to find that picture. And then I use the clips and I hang them. I hang them in my freezer. So we have a side by side and our freezer, you know, has the little wire shelves. So I run the grip stick through it. You don't have to use a grip stick, but I run the grip stick through it. And then I use a binder clip, a binder clip or some other kind of clip. And I put this through the wire and clip it on there and it keeps them like this. So they're hanging. So like my frozen things, like my bags of uh, cauliflower, riced cauliflower and things like that, they're hanging like this on, underneath one of the shelves in the freezer so they don't get lost and you can find them. Okay, so binder clips, water bottles. Okay, so water bottles. And I know y'all are thinking, okay, Kelly, you're just making things up now. You're just making things up. Water. Yeah, we have to drink water. We've got to drink water. Everybody knows we've got to drink water. Okay. But water bottles weigh approximately a pound. Oh my gosh. And Sandra's been doing that since she was a teenager in Texas. I, this is new to me. This was a pin. That was a Pinterest thing, the chip clip thing or the clip thing. But anyway, so these weigh about a pound each. Okay. And I know a lot of y'all are over a pound in your workout, but let's think. So if I'm here at work, you know, if I'm here at work and I don't have my, you know, I don't have my hand weights with me, you can do enough reps of any kind of, you know, any kind of arm exercises. You can do enough reps to work up a little sweat. So where I might only do like 25 of something, you know, if I was at home and had my two or three pound weights. And I know Sandra is um, getting ready to move up, you know, again on her weights. And I know Linda does a kettlebell. But if you were at work or if you were just standing around the kitchen, you know, and you needed to do something, these are a pound each, a pound each. And you could, you know, you could work up a sweat if you did enough, if you did enough repetition, repetitions. Okay, and because I'm running us out of time, the last one is a gift card, is gift cards. Yeah, not just any gift card. So, gift cards, get one that is for a place that is your go-to 
surefire, never fail. I can always find something on plan place because when you're sitting in the car and you're starving and you're thinking, what am I going to do? What am I, what am I going to do for lunch? You know, I'll run through McDonald's or I'll run through, you know, whatever Sonic around here is really bad. Um, but when you're thinking, you know, I'm going to run through one of those places. If you've got, if you already have a gift card on you or in your purse or in your glove compartment or something for somewhere that you know, is a surefire winner, winner, winner every time that you're, you will, you know, you will make a good choice. So like Chick-fil-A for me, I'm, I'm guaranteed, almost guaranteed, I'm 50% more likely. And that's not a real statistic. I don't know. Twice as likely, three times as likely, whatever. I don't, I'm just making up numbers now to choose grilled chicken um, and a fruit cup with the grilled chicken nuggets and a fruit cup way more likely to choose that if I already have the gift card in my pocket and that's where I, you know, or, or purse or whatever, and that's where I go. If I run through McDonald's, I ain't picking nothing good, okay? Not gonna happen. So Chick-fil-A is a good one. Cracker Barrel is a good one. Wendy's for me is a good one because I will get the, I will get the chili um, and I'll, you know, go ahead and add some uh, sour cream because it doesn't, add, just adds one more point. But anyway, so pick something good. So a gift card is number 10. My number 10 thing in the 10 unlikely um, weight loss tools. This is number 10. Actually, it's probably number one. Just kidding. Um, but yeah, so get a gift card for somewhere that you know that you will be successful if you go there. I think um, Chipotle might be another good one. But anyway, you all be thinking about that. So post in the comments where you think a good place, where, where's the successful place and what do you get? So I don't want to just know where you, oh, thank you, Dixie. So I don't want to just know where you're going to get your gift card from. I want to know what you're going to get. So I know a lot of y'all are really successful with Chipotle. Um, again, Wendy's is a good one for me. Subway for some of you all. Um, so in the comments, so when Jessica gets this posted on ifyouhaveanegg.com and when Casey gets it posted on um, YouTube and it's just youtube.com, search if you have an egg, um, comment. I want to hear your comments of where you're going to get your gift card from and what it is that you get from there that helps to make you um, so successful. So I have run us out of time. John is saying good night. That means John wants me to wrap it up and come home. So you all have an amazing evening. Um, thank you so much for being here on a holiday weekend. Again, I'm shocked that there are so many of you all here. Um, but don't forget to share this with a friend. I know more and more places are losing their you know, losing their meeting, you know, spots and um, we just all need to stick together. So Y'all have a great evening. Have a great holiday if you're here in the U.S. Um, Y'all be safe. Be careful. Um, yep. And if you um, have somebody we need to remember, let me know. So, again, y'all have a great evening. And I'm here I am walking around with my key. So, I do not need the key to my locker right now. But I am walking around with that. So, y'all have a great evening. I hope you got some great ideas. Um, comment and let me know. And if you are watching this on YouTube, please let the next video roll over. I would appreciate it if you go ahead and watch the next one. Um, and if you have not subscribed yet, that little spot is right down here. You just go ahead and hit the subscribe button and then hit the little bell so that you'll be notified when we have new videos. And if you need any merch, if you need a t-shirt, a cool t-shirt, a water bottle, anything else with one of our, with one of Casey's cool um, badges or anything like that on there, you can click on this button and you will be taken to our Spreadshirt store. So y'all have a great week and I will see